All right, everyone. I'm so excited for tonight. Um, this is Alicia Gag. I'm an ambassador diamond with It Works. And you guys, I could not be any more excited um, for this sweet, gorgeous little girl to get on our Zoom tonight and offer you um, some tips and advice and share her story with you all. Like Maureen, you probably didn't know, but um, a lot of us on here are like, just been watching your journey and have loved. I know for me personally, I have just loved your posts and they're so like just welcoming and you just draw people in. So I love everything that you do with the business and um, I can't wait to hear your story and hear more about you. So um, without further ado, Morgan, go ahead and introduce yourself. And if you don't mind, just start us out with telling us about how you got started, what you did prior to It Works, and a little bit about your journey. Hey, so um, I'm Morgan, and I started this business in October 2014. Um, I was a 20-year-old college student. I had just started school like two weeks before I joined. I'm originally from Mississippi, but now I live in Michigan, which is why I have a super weird accent. It's like kind of northern, but kind of not. Um, I oh, say y'all like, really nasally. So, um, yeah, I joined this business in October, but I moved up here in May, and um, I was a nanny, and I was also working another part-time job and just wasn't able to make ends meet. Like, I was really struggling living paycheck to paycheck, and um, I actually only went to school that one year. So, I was actually two years out of high school, um, just didn't really know what I was going to do with my life, and um, I went to school for that one year to be a sign language interpreter, which I absolutely loved, and for couple of weird reasons. I was not able to finish school um, for the second year, but it ended up being a really good blessing in disguise. But for that year that I was in school, I was working a full-time job and a part-time job and going to school full-time. And to be a sign language interpreter, it's like having, um, like, what are those things? Internships, like all year long. And you have to go through the summer and everything too. So like, it wasn't just like I went to school for a couple hours, came home, did like 30 minutes of homework and I was done. No, it was like full-time job. So I was super busy. I had just moved across the country. Didn't know anyone here. I was in a program with 10 other people. So I literally had every reason to not join this business, but I did it anyways, because a couple months before that, I had found the wraps on Instagram through a girl that I just had met one time. And we were like mutual friends um, with her cousin and things like that. And I ended up following her on Instagram after her friends on Facebook. And she kept posting pictures of stomachs. And I was like, what's this girl doing? And I remember like looking through my phone while the kids were napping whenever I was an nanny and I was like what is this and um prior to that I was actually struggling really bad with like you know self-esteem issues and things like that because I was you don't hear that squeaking uh, okay. barely just barely okay then um because it's driving me nuts so I didn't know if it was driving y'all nuts um so anyways um I was like really self-conscious because a couple like before that like um in March of that year I was diagnosed with POTS syndrome. I don't know if any of y'all know what that is, but um, it's basically like a heart condition. And I, they told me that at 20 years old that I would never be able to like work out again, that I would never be able to um, even like walking places would be like detrimental to my health. Like I needed handicap stickers. Like I was not allowed to like do anything active. Um, and basically they told me like, you're never, your life's never going to be the same. Like you can pretty much just like give up a normal life. You're not going to be able to work anymore. And they told me all of these things. And I was like, heck no, like I did not accept that. So I was like, I'm going to be able to do everything that you told me I'm not going to be able to do. And I didn't know how yet. So anyways, I hadn't been working out because they told me not to. So I was like, okay, well maybe these wraps could work. So after being super skeptical over and over again, I was finally like, okay, Okay, I'm just going to try them. So I tried the wraps and I did not see results with my first wrap, which is why I'm like super like, I don't know, very like adamant about telling everyone that it's a full treatment of four wraps because on that second wrap, I saw a little bit of results. And on that third wrap, I cried because I hadn't felt that confident in the way that I looked in a really long time. And for someone who can't work out and, you know, can't exercise and things like that, it was huge for me. Um, so then I tried the hair, skin and nails next and the stretch mark cream loved my results. And I was like, okay, I need to like tell people about this stuff. So I was already talking to my friends about it. And then I talked to the girl who 
like sold the, you know, the products to me and she was my distributor. And I was like, well, so how do you do this? And so she gave me more information. And I was like, well, I'm super busy. Does it take a lot of time? You know, the question that we all ask probably. And she just explained to me that it was something you could work in your everyday life. And, and I'm very red. If y'all know the color personality is like 100% red. Um, and then a little bit of blue, I'm technically more blue than red, but I do not believe that. <laughs> I'm more red. Um, but anyways, so I think I just answered a question wrong on that little survey, but, um, anyways, I was like, no, I'm gonna like go all in with this. And so my goal starting out was very, I had a huge goal. I wanted a hundred dollars a month. So, um, I like had no like high expectations for myself. Like I actually didn't think that I was going to be able to do this business. And I told myself if I could just get one customer. I won't have failed. <laughs> and, um, so I joined this business, got my first four customers in my first 30 days, got that $100 shopping spree that they had then and that they have again now, which is super exciting. And I just, I talked about it with everybody. Um, I talked about it on social media. Um, I did not post the way that I post now. So please know that that's something that I've learned because when I first started this business, people weren't coming to me like, Oh, what are those things you're posting on social media? They're like, Hey, your Facebook got hacked <laughs> People posting stuff about these bellies on your Facebook. You need to go like figure that out. And I was like, no, it's me. Like it's the raps you've ever heard of them. And so I was doing like anything I knew how to do. And like, I was ignorance on fire. I had no clue what I was talking about. I just knew that the products worked. And anytime somebody asked me a question, I Googled it and I answered them as best as I could. I looked up the resources that we had and those same resources I'm sure are available to you on team pages or on, um, the, it works product coach is one of my favorite websites. Like I just look at that all the time. And so I just knew what the steps of success were. And I was like, okay, well, I'm going to do that. And I didn't know that having a wrap party was optional. So I did my launch party and I had four people there. One of them was my roommate, um, just trying to be sweet. And the other three, two of them became customers. And one of them became a distributor who later ended up becoming the Emerald for my diamond. So have a wrap party. It may not be like your rock star. It may not be a runner. You may not sign any distributors, but you're going to have people who are interested in the products. And maybe because they're using the products, their friend is going to be your runner, your rock star. You know, they could take you to ambassador or whatever, you know, you just never know what could happen at a wrap party. So if you don't have a wrap party, nothing's going to happen for sure. So you might as well have one because then something could happen anyways. Um, so I made wrap cash then. And my first goal, like I said, was a hundred dollars a month. And I did that like in October and I joined October 15th. So in 15 days, I was able to make a hundred dollars, um, through wrap cash and through my commissions check that I got for October. Um, and then in November, I was like, Hey, well, what else do I want to do? And I wanted to buy a plane ticket to go home and see my family for Christmas. That's not something that I thought was an option because I just did not have the money to do it. And, um, through the rap cash I made at that party and through rap cash that I was like talking to people about, um, and the commissions check that I got in November, I was able to pay for my plane ticket to go back home and see my family for Christmas just a month into this business, not even a month. Um, and so I was so excited about that. Like that was huge for me. Like a plane ticket now isn't like anything, but back then I was like, I can see my family for Christmas. It was life changing. So I was like, okay, like I really want to run with this business. And I remember at the end of December, 2014, I had gotten a couple of distributors, didn't know what I was doing once again. And the girl who I was placed under, she called me and she was, this is December 31st, 2014. And I was at, um, red lobster. And she was like, Hey, you're about to go executive, but you only need one more customer. She was like, did you know that? And I was like, what's executive? She was like, what? And I was like, I don't know what that means. And she was like, you have two distributors and they're like almost at 400. Cause you've helped them get their first four customers. I was like, Oh, she was like, so sign up a customer. So at red lobster, I signed up a customer. I was like, Hey, Mrs. <laughs> I was like, Hey, can you please sign up for this? Like, and then they did. And I signed up a customer. She's like, okay, here's how you move a customer. So I like moved it to them. And I went executive that night. And that was when I was like, oh my gosh, $300 average a month. Like, that's so exciting. This is life changing for me. Right. So then I was like, okay, well, I'm going to do this. Like I'm going to go all in. And two months later I went Ruby was able to quit that part-time job, which was huge for me again. And I kept dreaming of just bigger things I wanted to do. And as a Ruby, I did two things that I never thought that I'd be able to do much less as a Ruby. <laughs> um, I was able to actually pay for school in cash. So I have zero student loans. 
Um, and I was able to buy a car that's safer for me in the snow. Like I said, I moved from the South up to Michigan and my car was super unsafe for the snow. I had two accidents in one day, the first winter I moved up here. So oh, I desperately gosh. needed another car. Half of it was me, but, <laughs> <laughs> um, um, but anyways, so I got another car and I was like blown away. I was like, Oh my gosh, like this business has already changed my life. And then a couple months later, I was still sitting at Ruby and I was super like discouraged about that. And I was like, Hey, well, like, why am I not promoting faster girls who like who joined around the same time as me promoted to diamond already? Why am I not a diamond? And like, they had the $10,000 bonus. And I was like, okay, well I missed that because they just took it away. Like now I can't even get a $10,000 bonus. They're probably never going to bring them back. Like I was just being so negative about everything. But what I look back and see now is one, the reason that I was like discouraged wasn't because of the money that I was making. It was because of the money I saw other people making and like the ranks I saw them at. And so instead of being content with my blinders on, I'm just looking down and focus on myself, which you know what I mean by saying focus on myself. I don't mean like in a prideful way. I just mean like focusing on my business and not what everybody else is doing and comparing. But I started comparing and I was like, Oh, well I should be here. But really, um, I, was right where God wanted me to be. Right. So I was also making, you know, average Ruby income is $500 a month. I was making, you know, $400 more than what I even joined to, to get anyways. And so, and then I was like mad about it. So I was like, I don't know. Cause I really was working hard. Like it, I wasn't Ruby like for a year just because I just sat and did nothing. Like I really was working hard and I actually got myself locked in for diamond in August and just never promoted the volume just was not there. And, um, that was the year that they did the very first cruise to Mexico. And I actually got to go on the cruise. I was one of the few rubies that were on that cruise. And I went into the cruise ready to quit. I was like, going to give up like for real. Like I was like actually ready to throw in the towel. And the only reason that I didn't was because I couldn't go on a free cruise for a company that I quit. And I was going on that cruise. So I was just going to stick with the company. So mm -hmm. I went on the cruise and that was life changing for me. So if you don't have a ticket to green carpet yet, like get a ticket. I mean, it's like super last minute, but seriously get to these events, you know, conference, go to conference. There's OTMs around you all the time that literally cost like 10 bucks, sell a wrap or two, you know, like cover the cost of that. You know, I don't know, do what you have to do to get to an event because I'm telling you that they're life changing. And I didn't like, I, you hear people say that all the time, but you never understand it until you go and you're going to understand what I'm talking about. But I went on that cruise and people were just giving me tips and people were talking about the business and just, I was around people who were top income earners with this business. They were ambassador diamonds and presidential diamonds, you know, making crazy money. And, and I looked at them and I was like, Oh, they, they're just like me. Like they look just like me. And that was a really big aha moment for me was that they weren't any different than me, except they dressed better and had Louis Vuittons, but otherwise <laughs> they were similar. Um, and so like I'm not Louis Vuitton, by the way, I'm just saying. Yeah. But, so I was like, otherwise, like we're the exact same. So like, I can just, I can do this. So I left that cruise super excited. I went into it ready to quit, left so pumped up. And two months later in February of 2015, so a month, or sorry, a year after I went Ruby, I promoted to Diamond and Emerald in the same day and earned the $22,000 bonus because they had the Emerald and they had doubled it. And then they had the Diamond and they had doubled it. So was able to quit my job as a waitress and bartender and was able to quit my job as an assistant manager at a retail store all on the same day. I was like, see ya. <laughs> and, they <were> like, <laughs> yeah. and they were like, you're doing what? I was like, working from home. I was like, I don't need this anymore. I was like, I'm just going to own my own time. I'm going to own my own business. And they were like, okay. And, um, anyway, so I retired myself at 22 years old, which was the biggest dream that I had at that point. And I was like, okay, I'm good. Like, I'm good. I don't, can't really think of anything else I'd want to do. So I'm just going to chill. And that was the most detrimental thing I've ever done in my business is just get complacent. And I sat there and I was like, well, and just like kick my feet back. And I was like, let's just let this go, you know? And, um, you know, diamonds make really good money. I was making more money than I had ever made as a diamond, but <laughs> I had credit card debt why it didn't dawn on me that I should probably pay that off. I have no idea. But, um, I was just like, okay, well I'm good. Like I'm comfortable. And so I sat at diamond for 13 months because I sat there right after I went diamond, I was like, okay, I'm done. And you know, I maintained diamond. I never lost that rank, thankfully, but I never promoted again either. And whenever I say I maintain that rank, you need 10,000 volume to maintain. I was like 10,001. 
<laughs> like I was like maintaining, but all, like barely, you know, barely hanging on their by thread. And so then I went to a conference in February. Again, it was an event and those are all life-changing events for me. You know, I went to the Bahamas cruise too, but it was just something about conference. And like, I don't know how to describe it. That was my first conference, by the way. I had never been to conference before. Why? Also have no idea. But anyways, so um, I went to conference and I just, I don't know, something clicked and I was like, I can do this. Like, why am I holding myself back? And I think, I think at conferences where I just like learned to dream again and I saw these people paying off debt and I saw all these things and I was like, well, maybe I should do that. So I was like, okay, well, I'm going to go do that. Like I'm going to go promote to double diamond. I'm going to pay off all my debt. Nala. Stop baby. Um, so I, uh, so, um, whenever he announced the bonuses on that Saturday, um, I still needed nine distributors to even block myself in for double for like the 17th hundredth time and so I was like okay well I'm gonna do this and before we left conference like before I got home before my plane landed back in Grand Rapids Michigan I had all nine distributors that I needed so like 48 hours and I was like we're gonna do this thing and so um by the end of February I had like almost every single person finished and we promoted on March 25th no boosting no moving orders nothing we just did it and um so excited about that that was that was like where I was like okay Whew. I still know how to promote. I still got it. Yeah. You know, like, they're, blah, 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 they're all wondering, all like, hey, maybe this is it. And so I just kept going. So after I went double, I went triple really fast again afterwards, but that's because I didn't stop because I learned my lesson and I was like, okay, I'm not chilling. Like, we're going to go again. Like we're going to do this. And, um, I actually looked at the triple diamond chart after I went double and I laughed and I said, okay, cause I had until the end of May to do that, to get that $50,000 bonus. And I was like, yeah, okay. And, um, my boyfriend was my diamond for double. So we both promoted. And then I was looking at, you know, his chart and it was looking really good. And then I was looking at my chart and not so much. And then, you know, we just signed a lot of team members in April. Um, just, whew, I don't know where they came from, but I'm just super excited that all of them joined and a lot of them are customers um, because I have really good relationships with my customers, but they all, they were like, you know, when you, when you're a customer, a lot of you may have been customers before I know I was, when you have a customer that signs up who loves the products, they're going to be excited right out of the get go. Right. Because they love of the products and they're like, well, I already got this. Like I already know about the products. Like I at least know about a couple of them and they were all excited because they were customers. So, um, anyways, we kept working in April and then, um, I, my goal by the like middle of April, I was like, Whoo, this is looking good. I was like, I'm blocked in for triple by the end of April. So April 30th, blocked myself in for triple. And, um, I say I blocked myself and it was definitely me and my team 100%. But then in, May, we just worked on volume the whole time and promoted to triple at the end of last month. So, um, wow. Your first triple check. Yes, girl. <laughs> <laughs> it looks pretty good there, doesn't it? Yeah, I cried. That was Aww. the first thing I've ever cried about. I cried. Um, oh, I but it's just crazy, you know, like March 24th. Derek was a Ruby, my boyfriend. He was a Ruby and I was a diamond. March 24th. And then today we are double diamond and triple diamond, you know? And like, it's just crazy. We all earned good bonus or go bonuses and girls on my team earn go bonuses. Like I've got some diamonds on my team now, you know, we're fired up. We're going to green carpet, of course. And so I'm just super excited. Like this has just been such a great couple of months and you know, my goal for the year <laughs> My whole entire dream board's like just checked off. So I'm like, okay, well, what else am I going to do now? You know, like it's crazy because you dream things that you're like, okay, well, this is crazy. But then it happens in May and you're like, all right. So like, what else do we have? Because I wanted to be triple by December 31st. And I was like, yeah, that's probably not going to happen. Cause I don't promote more than one time a year. I'm just going to let y'all know that. Yeah. Yeah. Like executive <laughs> for a year, you know, it's fine. But yeah, so I was like, so I probably will only promote maybe once this year. So yeah, it's been really exciting and really, really cool. So now what is the goal for this year then? The new goal. So I'm going to go presidential by the end of August and yeah. I'm going to go 
ambassador before conference next year. I love it. I am that like literally gave me chills and I am like freaking out that I just told y'all that because now I have to do it. You do. We're holding you to it. We are going to hold you to it. Okay. So I want to ask you some questions now. I freaking love your story. Um, there's a lot of things that I didn't know. Um, and one of the things that I think really relates to me, um, in my journey with it works and probably relates to a lot of people who are on here today is you did sit at a rank for quite a while, you know, here you were at Ruby for quite a while. I personally sat at double diamond for almost two years and I sat at presidential for almost two years. So I get where you're coming from and a lot of these people do. So what truly like helped you out of what we call the mud? Like what helped you get out of that slump and really decide to push forward and try to really go for that next promotion? Um, I mean with Ruby, it wasn't so much that I wasn't really trying. So I'll answer that question more for diamond. Okay. Um, so Nala, uh, uh-uh. One second, please. You're fine. <laughs> Dog mom. <laughs> okay. Sorry Here's about that. Here's it. My rug. So. Uh oh. <laughs> um. Anyway, so. So for Diamond, you know, obviously I sat there for 13 months and I mean, a lot of it had to do with the fact that I just lost momentum because I just chilled. Mm -hmm. Um, And honestly, I went Diamond kind of by myself. Like I didn't really have anyone on my team working whenever I went Diamond, but I was so determined that I was going to do it anyways. I just got all the distributors and all the volume myself. So I was like, I didn't really have anyone to to run with, to, to double. And it's, and I'm not saying that that's the reason why I didn't promote faster, but that did have something to do with it, which is why we kind of just like stopped. Right. So, so looking at my diamond versus double diamond chart, like when I actually promoted to double diamond, a complete turnover. None of the people on my diamond chart were even on my double diamond chart. Like Mm -hmm. they all quit and I got all new people. So I think the biggest thing is to not look at your chart and defeat, but look at it and be like, okay, I'm just going to get new blood in here. Like I'm getting more excited people. And even, you know, from like double, you know, is a diamond and an emerald. Well, obviously Derek was my diamond. And so he's sticking with this, but my emerald, um, you know, I was like, okay, well, I'm not going to use that emerald because it's not strong enough. So I pulled the ruby that was under there. There's two rubies. That's an emerald. So I got one of the rubies. I said, I'm going to run with her. So I pulled her up to the top and made her a diamond for triple and she did go diamond. But I think it's just, you know, like getting that new blood and that new excitement because she wasn't even a customer when I went diamond, you know, and and she was a customer before. And so it's just getting that new blood and getting excited about what this business is going to do for you. And if you're looking at this business and you're saying that you're in a slump, I think that that right there is why you're in a slump. Because if you always look at your situation, you're like, Oh, okay, well, like I'm in a slump. Like it's like, you're accepting like the fact that your business isn't growing when it would be growing, but you have to speak that positivity and that life into your business. Even when you don't feel like it, mm-hmm. you're going to claim that. And you're going to be like, you know what? Like my business is booming. I have rock star signing up. I'm a rock star little customer enroller. Like I'm going to be a mass enroller. And like, you know, my team is strong. Like we are moving fast. We have so much momentum. We have so much potential. And when you start saying those things, like your brain, like turn, it's, I don't know, I don't know. I'm just going to make some stuff. All the difference. something. <laughs> yeah. It like makes it happen. Mm-hmm. And, um, you can watch the secret on Netflix if you want to. I love that video. Um, but yeah, it's like, it's just speaking that life. So if you're in a slump, do not call it that. Just say, you know what? Like we're just, we are planting seeds right now. And those rock stars are coming because they are as someone who was in a slump, which we're not going to call it that, but I was, and I just kept talking about, you know, the business to so many different people. And in the course of those months, I found my diamonds. I found the girls who are going diamond this month. I found my rubies, my emeralds, you know, and, and it's crazy what can happen in such a short amount of time because, okay, so those rubies, right? Everyone who went diamond with me last month were rubies the month before. 
So they went from Ruby to diamond in 30 days. And the way that we did that, obviously we're signing up distributors. I can talk more about that later, but, um, you know, we just got new blood and we were talking to our customers. They became our distributors. So to be completely honest, like in March and April, like that's when those rubies who promoted to Ruby with me last month, like they, that's when they joined. So looking at my chart in, in March, I could have been like, Oh, well, I don't, I just don't have anybody, you know, like there's nobody on here. That's going to be the Ruby for this person's diamond. And, but you have no idea like when they're going to sign up, like it could be at the very last minute and they just take off and go, you know? Um, so you just never know. So don't ever look at your chart and defeat, just get excited about the people who are going to fill it and be the person who you want to fill your chart. If you're like looking for a certain type of distributor, you're like, well, I want my distributor, like Pam Souter, I think says this all the time, like get a piece of paper out, write down every quality that you would want in like a rock star distributor. Like, Hey, if I could have any distributor, any person on my team, this is what they would be like. Mm -hmm. And then I want you to look at that list every single day. And I want you to be that because if you're not that, that's not what you're going to attract. If you're a negative person, if you're looking at this and you're like, well, it's never going to happen. Like those are the kind of people that you're going to attract. And that's the kind of people that I was attracting, you know, whenever I was a diamond and that, well, that's another story. But anyways, yes. so now, you know, like I have awesome people on my team, you know, because I'm trying to be the best team member, the best leader, the best follower that I can be. And that's what I want them to be. And they're mimicking that too. Once that like I am attracting them into my business. And once they join, they look at my leadership and they're like, Hey, well, what is she doing? Oh, she turns everything around into a positive. So that's what I'm going to start doing. You know, and like we're, we've really been working on that. Like even with things like, you know, small things, like we're just going to turn around into a positive. So I think that that's really just kind of what got us out of the slump is just saying, you know what, like this is not, this is not where it ends, you know? And like, I was praying for that promotion for a really long time and delay is not denial. Like God is going to give you that if you continue to pray for it and you continue to work for it. But you have to just trust in his timing and trust that the Lord is going to bring those people into your business. If you're putting in the work, you don't just sit there and hope that he brings them to you. Like he's going to give them to you by the work that you're doing, but you should have to trust that they're going to come at the right time because it's crazy because my check was so big because everyone on my triple diamond chart is diamond coded and above to me because oh. they all signed up after I went diamond, which if you don't know what that is, sorry, I didn't <laughs> you know. It's, it's mind blowing. <laughs> it's a lot of money. Like you just get extra money when they get fast start qualified basically. So oh, love it. it's a really good thing. It is. Got a little cabs. Okay, so I'm so glad that you touched base on new blood. And I, wanna, I want you to talk about this because I think it is the key to our success in this business. You constantly have to be bringing in the new blood. That's why we have the steps to success. That's why we have the four loyal customers, the three distributors every month. In order for that to happen, what are you teaching your team? What are you doing to grow your network and bringing in this new blood? Um, so I teach my team every single day. <laughs> this is funny. I literally tell them every single time you go to the bathroom, take your phone and follow people on Instagram. So like sometimes like in our group chat, they're like going to the bathroom. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, I'm like oh. Um, so yeah, our team's super weird. Sorry. But we just like, we follow people on Instagram. You know, we try to find people who have common interests as us. Like we talk to new people on Facebook. We just build relationships with those people. And then a lot of times like they become customers first and that's fine. And like people always look at customers, you know, or maybe not always, but a lot of times and they're like, Oh, like I, I can just only sign customers. And I'm like, okay, we are taking only out of our vocabulary and we change only to already. So they're like, well, I only have one customer. I'm like, no, you already have one customer. And it's only the 15th of the month, you know, like awesome. more and you're on track to getting your, you know, steps to success built. So like, we just change that word. And I'm like, that's just your mindset. Like when you change your mindset, it changes everything. So, um, a lot of them become customers first and we just really, really try to do good with like customer retention, which I think is another thing that helped with mm -hmm. me going triple diamond so fast is because everyone that we had signed in January and February to go to my double diamond chart with the volume, we're all still there. Um, not all of them, but like a lot of them, like we didn't have to refill the volume. So when we do that and we're taking care of our customers, they eventually become distributors. Example A, I had a distributor sign up. <laughs> who she became a customer right before conference in February. It's weird that I remember her, which is why I was like, there's something about this girl. Maybe I should like dive into that a little bit because like, I remember when she signed up, like what I was doing when she signed up as a customer, 
So I was like, okay. And then she kept like, you know, messaging me every month. And she was like, which I messaged her too, but she was like, you know, I love this product. Like, what should I try next? And then the last month I was like, try the shake. And so she got the chocolate shake and she texted me yesterday and she was like, I love it. Um, what should I get this month? And I was like, actually, why don't you just become a distributor? And she was like, Oh, I was like, you could get a free box of wraps and a hundred dollar shopping spree. So why don't you just do it? Like become a distributor. Cause you could get a $50 shopping spree next month as a customer, a hundred dollar shopping spree this month as a distributor. She was like, Oh, okay. So okay. <laughs> today as a distributor, she's like, I'll do it. Um, you know, I gave her more information obviously, but so yeah, just taking care of your customers, like Everyone who promoted last month is a customer of mine before they were a distributor. Do you, you have a system that you use as far as like touching base with your customers? Like I know a lot of people do like the two, two, two rule. Like what is your process on that? Yeah. So, um, I'm not green at all except for loyal customer retention. And whenever people sign up as a customer, um, I, I have a little, I have two planners, but this planner right here is just like my daily task list. Mm -hmm. So, okay. So a girl named Bree actually just signed up as a customer before I got on the Zoom. And today's the 15th Thursday, right? So Bree signed up today and I'm going to put her name down for two days from now. So that's going to be on Saturday the 17th and I'm going to write Bree and then I'm going to put her last name and then I'm going to write down dash thanks. Okay. So on the 17th, I'm going to say just like, I'm going to say thank you right now. I just did, but I'm going to tell her thank you again on, on a uh, Saturday. And I just do two days just because I'm like, okay, well, if I do it, you know, tomorrow, like it's going to be like, okay, well, obviously she just still remembers that. But if you kind of do it two days away, it's like, oh, they kind of forgot that they made the order. Like yeah. they'll think that maybe you forgot about them. And then you're like, Hey, thanks so much for your order. Like, I just want to thank you for choosing me as your rep because guys, they could have chosen any of us, but she chose me, you know, or, you know, she chose Alicia, like she, they can choose anyone, but they chose you. So take, I'm like honored whenever they choose me as their customer. And so I just tell them, thank you so much for choosing me as your rep and, um, tell them all the little customer perks. So I'll let them know then about, you know, the free, um, shopping sprees whenever they get their sixth order and their hundred fifty dollars shopping spree whenever they get their 12th order and, and let them know about their perks points and how those work. And so then they're like, Oh my gosh, I had no idea about all that stuff. Like I'm so excited. Um, so then I asked them to add me on Facebook because a lot of my customers come from Instagram. Um, a lot of my people in general come from Instagram, but then I have them add me on Facebook and I send them my Facebook link and they add me. So then I add them to our little customer Facebook group and it's for our whole team. Um, just for me and my downline. And in that we talk about when customers become distributors, we're like, Oh, so-and-so loved her product so much. She decided to join this business with us. Now she's going to get a hundred dollar free shopping spree. She's like eligible for a $10,000 bonus. We're so excited. Um, and then I ask them, I'm like, if you're ever interested in doing this because you love the products too, why don't you just comment below and tag your enroller? And we'd love to talk to you more about it. And we've had so many people do that in the last That's couple awesome. of days. Um, we share really cool, like shake recipes or just like healthy, dish recipes in general, because a lot of people on there are doing like a health and wellness journey. And if they're not, maybe they're trying to hear skin and nails, but they do want to lose weight because they saw that. And like, now they're like pumped up and motivated. Like we just do like everything. Um, you know, we do like product of the week or product of the month and just really talk about perks points and things like that. So that really keeps customers for longer. Um, and then anytime our customers, cause you probably have customers that you check in with and they're like, I love my hair, skin, nails. Look at these results. I then say, would you mind sharing that on the page? And they're like, okay, sure. So then loyal customers are hearing from other loyal customers that don't get any benefit from them signing up or ordering a product. And so they're going to be more apt to order it from them versus from me saying like, Hey, you need to do this. Like they're gonna be like, okay, of course you want me to, you know, or of course you're going to say that you like them. But my customer, Hannah, she just, you know, posted yesterday and she's like, I love my greens. Thank you, Morgan. Like she was, she was like, you share my passion for Starbucks and the greens. Like I'm so excited about these. And like, I was like, yes, girl. So, you know, we just keep it excited. We keep it fun. Um, but anyway, so that's what I do. So whenever I tell them, thank you, I have them add me on Facebook for that purpose. Then right. So right now I'm going to put her name down for Saturday, but then I'm also going to put it down for about two weeks out because most people choose seven to 14 day shipping. And I'm going to do it on like that. Sometimes I do it. I don't know. I usually do it on like the 14th day. Cause it's kind of awkward whenever they're like, Hey, did you get your products yet? And like, that's what I do on the, you know, two week mark. But sometimes they're like, no, should I, should I have gotten them? And I'm like, 
well, no, actually, you still have more time, but I just thought they'd be here by now. So um, <laughs> it's not really awkward to have like learned to like actually wait till the 14th day. And a lot of times, because you've gone out of your way to add them on Facebook, you've added them to a little group that they're now a part of, you've told them thank you, you've built this relationship at this point that most of the time customers will message me first and they're like, look what I got. And they like have like a selfie of them using the products. And so then I've got something to post on my social media. I know that I've built a relationship with them. They feel comfortable with coming to me about the taste of those things that they don't like them or you know they love their results so I ask them if they've gotten their products if they do happen to text me first so let's say you know next week she messages me and she's like hey I got my products when I see her name again the following week where it says you know Brie dash products question mark and I'm like oh I'm supposed to message her at that point I'll message her and say hey I know you've been using your products for a couple of days do you have any questions about them so I'm still going to follow up with her on that day but I'm just going to ask her something different um and then I put their name on an index card. And this sounds like super long and complicated, but it's not just them explaining it. If it was long and complicated, trust me, I would not do it. <laughs> um, but anyway, so I just like put their name on a little like um, index card. And then it says their name, the day they join and the day that their order runs. And so if it's like the 29th, well, their order is going to run on the 25th. So then I have them like categorized in this little thing. And then I have the like dates of the things and the last one's the 25th because that's when most of the orders run. So I have that on a day of its own. And so two days before that run, so <clears throat> the 14th through the 20th, so I actually messaged all those people like two days ago or three days, whatever, on the 12th. And I told them, I said, hey, your order is going to run in about a week. Just reminding you of this. Like, you already have three perks points because of your last order. If you wanted to change your order, now would be a good time to do it. And I'd love to help you, you know, out with that. I hope you're loving these products as much as I am. And then if they've, you know, been using the products for three months, like this is the last month that they have to order, I'll message them and I'll be like, I know you've been using the wraps for the last three months. Would you want to add the cleanse to that? Because I know that's going to give you really great results. Um, or we actually have the and um, the what's it called the target trio oh, and that has the wraps in it as well but it also comes with the fat fighters and the cleanse and it's going to be just a couple more dollars than what you're already spending so if you want to get two more products you could and then I say and you also only have three more orders until your $50 shopping spree I'm so excited for you and then they're like oh my gosh $50 shopping spree okay so they don't turn off their order I don't say hey this is your last order if you want to turn it off go ahead no I'm like Hey, so you have a $50 shopping spree coming up. So in the next three orders, you're going to be able to get that. Okay. Okay. So wow, then order. So a lot of them do. Like I literally have a girl who was like, she was like, I can't like have my order this month because like something came up or whatever. And she was like, but I really want my $50 shopping spree. And I was like, you can change your order date. And she was like, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Thank you. Like they like live for these $50 shopping sprees, y'all. Like I'm just telling you like, and to get your $50 shopping spree, you had to have ordered in January, you know, so she's been ordering since January religiously. So she ordered when I was a diamond, double, triple, you know, she's been a part of that. And so I keep those customers for a long time with those shopping sprees. Use what this company has given us. Ask them, you know, Hey, I know you just did the nine day challenge with the hair, skin and nails. Did you want to do the nine day challenge with the, with the greens? And if you do, then I would give you a $50 credit for doing so. Yes. I love that. Okay. So you're, obviously a loyal customer signing machine. Um, what are some of your tips? Like, are you just crazy following up? Like, what are some of your tips on getting as many loyals as you do? I just, I just talk to people and I really don't talk to that many people. I mean, a lot of times people sign up on the spot. Like, I, I mean, I do follow up, obviously the fortune is in the follow up because a lot of times they don't and it's gotten me, you know, I've gotten to a point where they sign up on the spot now that didn't always happen. But I mean, I can read you a, a example conversation if you want, cause I don't really, I mean, there's really honestly nothing special. And I think that that's the key is that I don't make it complicated. Like there's really not anything special. Like I just, has it always, it. has it always been like that? Or do you feel like just like since you've gotten into a groove, it's been like that. I've never really had a tr had trouble signing up customers, and I think the biggest thing is because I love the products, and people right. can tell that I love the products. So if you're having trouble signing up customers, maybe it's because there's not a product that you just love. 
Right. You know, like the greens, my health, like I told y'all before that that was like bedridden, you know, I was not allowed to work out handicap sticker, like the whole shebang. And I just left the gym. That's why my hair is sweaty. You know, like I do CrossFit now, like I'm able to go and do those things because of the greens, greens, shoes. Those have literally changed my life and I'm no longer on heart medications and I don't have to take steroids for that anymore. Like don't take any medication for that. No signs of the pot syndrome being there anymore. And, um, so anyways, it's just crazy. Like how much these products have changed my life. So I want everyone to know that. And maybe it's not something that life changing for you, but maybe it's because you feel so much, you know, more confident after having a kid because you don't have those stretch marks anymore. Or maybe it's because you lost, you know, a lot of weight that you were just struggling for so long to lose or that your hair was longer and you, you know, whatever there's find something that you love and it's going to show to people. I have results from all of the products. So I always send those before they ask. Um, I think that's another thing too, but let me see. One second. Let me see if I can find one. Um, let's see. Sorry, I like sent out a lot of messages. So I'm having to like go through the ones I've already, like I just sent those. Um, Are you messaging people every single day? Yes. I never go a day without messaging people. Do you have that amount that you do? A certain amount? Mm -hmm. No. And that's because I am so red. If I told myself you have to like sign up, you know, 50 customers and I ended up like in the hospital, like I would be like, I, you cannot put me in under anesthesia right now. Give me one second. Like I have to message people, Mm -hmm. you know, like I'm just like, so like, no, I have to get this done. I told myself I would do it. Like I have to like fill those goals, whatever. So that became such a stressful thing in my life. Um, And so I was like, you know, I cannot have a set amount because I will kill myself to do it. And I don't have to, like, I don't have to set a certain amount because I'm going to do whatever I can. So for example, you know, today, you know, may have been a whole lot busier than, than yesterday. So yesterday, maybe I messaged, you know, a hundred people, but I don't count them, but maybe I messaged a hundred people. Well, today I messaged as many people as I could, but maybe that was only, you know, 50. Well, I'm not going to beat myself up over it because that's 50 more people than I messaged yesterday, but I had such a busy day today. Like I'm not going to, you know, try to get another, you know, 50 messages, whatever. Right. So I message any time that I can, I message as much as I can, but I don't have a set amount that I do because I can't like it becomes a job for me instead of something that I love and something I'm excited about. So then I start messaging people because I have to, and then they respond back and I'm like, Oh, but like, you should not do that. Like, cause then they can see that like in your messages. So you just need to yes. always be excited. So whatever works for you. Yes. But so anyways, I just sent her this message, basically asking if she wanted to be a product tester and told her that I'm looking for two people right now. And that I came across her page and that she was really pretty. And then I really would love to ha- like have her help building my portfolio. Um, and then I said, would you be interested? She's like, yeah, like what type of products are they? And then I gave her a list of a couple of my best sellers, like hair, skin and nails, wraps, um, confianza, things like that. And told her the prices in it. And I just said, uh, which one of these would interest you girl? I tried them all. So I know that you personally love, I personally use them all. So I know that you would love whichever one you choose. And she was like, I'd love to do the hair, skin and nails and the two day cleanse. And so I said, yay. Like, I love those girl. Like, and I just try to like talk to her just like I've known her for my whole life, you know? Mm-hmm. So I'm like, yay, I love those girl. The hair scan nails are normally $55 for that treatment. I told her about the 90 day challenge. Um, and I didn't tell, like explain it. I just said, but they're $33 when you do the 90 day challenge. These are my personal 90 day challenge results. And I sent her my before and afters. Ooh, I almost sent her a private message. So like I had my own personal before and afters, right? So I sent yes. those to her. And then I said, okay, so here's what the cleanse does. Just a couple sentences about here's what the cleanse is. And that's told her the retail price and the, and the 90 day challenge customer price. She said, OMG, that's amazing. I'm so excited. Besides buying these products, is there anything else that you need to do? And I was like, if you feel comfortable and you can, if you want to, I would love that. If you would send me those pictures, but there's no pressure at all if you don't want to. And then I said, with the 90 day challenge, you just choose any products you want for two months. So three months total or for two, for the next two months, so three months total. And you get my discount on the products. It doesn't have to be the same product each month. Does that make sense? And she said, okay, awesome. Totally makes sense. I said, yay. Will you text me my number? It'll be easier to text you with notifications and everything. And she said, yep. And then she signed up yesterday, but I can't remember what we said on our text messages. (laughs) But anyway, so I just try to get their, you know, like information as fast as I can. And I try to talk to them about, you know, like what I'm doing. And I just went to our text messages to kind of show you another, like, 
thing that I do. She was like, Hey, it's Courtney. And I was like, thanks so much for texting me. How are you? Like, I didn't say thanks for texting me. Okay. Sorry. You're ready to order. Right. I said, how are you? She was like, I'm good. How about you? And sometimes they'll say, I'm good. Just leaving school. What are you doing? And I'm like, cool. Like what school do you go to? And they're like, they'll tell me, and I'm like, what are you going for? And then I'll talk to them about that. And then I try to make a connection. I'm like, oh my gosh, you know, you're going for nurse to be a nurse. My mom's a nurse, you know? And like, so I do anything that I can to show them that I'm a real person. I'll send voice messages whenever they can text me. And so she said, I said, I'm good too. Thank you. Just finished getting my hair done. So I said, I know you said that you're interested in the hair, skin, nails, and two-day cleanse. I'm so excited for you. Do you have any other questions or are you ready to order now? Fun discount. So I told her like, I'm just got my hair done, you know, and like showed her like, I'm not sitting at home, like on my computer working, like I'm getting my hair done and you're about to sign up for hair, skin, and nails. Like, cool. So she ordered both of those products. That was yesterday. Awesome. So just be personal with people. Just be super straight to the point. Don't answer more than what they ask and send your own personal results if you have them. And if not, use your best friends until you get your own. It is just, it just goes to show you like the importance of being a product of the product and using, like you said, every single product. So you have those testimonies to share. It sells. Um, okay. So you talked about some things that you do, but do you have, um, like a, not necessarily a list, but like for me personally, I have some non-negotiables that I have to make sure that I get done on a daily basis, whether that's adding people to my network, you know, interacting, whatever that is. Do you have a non-negotiable, non-negotiable list? I only have a couple of things on that list, but, um, one of them that just, I don't ever have to write it down. I talk to my team. Yeah. Um, and I try not to spend too much time talking to my team cause I can go more that way than not talking to them at all. I can go more of like, I talk to them too much, <laughs> but I always talk to my team, you know, especially my diamonds. I have them in a chat and, um, anybody that's going diamond, I have them in a chat. I have four girls that are like going Ruby for sure this month. And I've got them in a chat and I'm like, you know, sending them daily tasks to do. Um, so if you've got people promoting on your team, put them in a chat, send them things that they should be doing that day. Tell them what you're doing that day. Tell them like a daily goal. Say, Hey, if you get two customers today, I'll, you'll earn a free product, whatever you want to do. Um, do some incentives, make it fun, you know, and give them something to shoot for. So, um, I do that. So I talk to my team, but I don't even write that down because that's obvious. And then, um, I follow, follow up and message and I actually follow up every other day. Um, so I don't do that every single day just so that I can message. Like I said, you know, I got message some days more than others on my follow-up days. Like today, I may not message as many people because I'm doing like follow-up messages. Um, so like I said, I don't beat myself up because I didn't send a hundred messages today when I did yesterday because I have follow-ups, but, um, and then I just, I mean, I do personal development and that may look a lot of different ways. Like some mornings I may, you know, rechase the lion for a couple minutes in my bed or, um, which if you haven't read that book, go read it. And I will, you know, watch YouTube videos like all the time, like while I'm working or I may listen to like a little snippet of a podcast or something while I'm driving to the gym or, you know, I'll always spend time with the Lord. Like I don't consider that personal development because that's just like something that I do for, you know, myself. But then I also do like personal development for my business on top of that. Um, but yeah, anyways, I mean, I really don't have that many things. I just try to keep it super simple because I feel like the more things I have on my list, the more stressed out I am. And if I just have a couple things, I get them done. And I'm like, cool. I can spend the rest of the day messaging people and following up with people any chance, like any chance that I get. Right. So that makes it more fun for me. Cause then I'm like, yeah, get to message instead of like, Oh, I still have to message people. It's on my list, you know? Right. Yeah. I think a big thing. And just by me, like talking to you and listening to you, a big reason why you are successful is because you have fun. Like you really have a passion for this business and I can tell. And I think that we all need to just find that passion and just have fun with it. I want to ask you one more, actually two more things and then um, we'll let you go. So we don't take too much of your time tonight. So you talk about talking to your team every day and I, you know, we, we think is, being a leader is, you know, a diamond or it's, but it's really, as soon as you have one distributor underneath you, you are a leader in this business. And I think it's important that you have those connections and you, you build those relationships. And I think so many of us discredit the importance of building those relationships, um, where it's so, so super critical. So what, how are you inspiring your team? How are you like, really building those relationships and, and how are you getting them to push forward? Um, 
I think a big thing is, you know, so for my team, my um, ambassador Diamond Epline is Susan Wade. So we have her team page, and then we have our presidential Diamond team page. And then I literally just made a team page just so that I can, like, announce stuff to my team so we don't actually really use that very much but we do have like an incentive going this month and that keeps people excited you know like I'll do a a live video every now and then and just say like hey guys like we have such a big momentum going right now like I'm so excited and talk to them about like different things like hey I just decided that I'm going to start doing this with my potential distributors you know and we try this like it's working really good so far and I've just been doing it for an hour so start doing it yeah. and you know you get excited and um, oh, I just saw that Erica said, what's the name of your LC group? I am very creative. So it's our lovely loyals. <laughs> <laughs> the other things that you would like to give me, <laughs> feel free. Um, sorry, super ADD. <laughs> but anyways, I just like looked over and saw that. But um, anyway, yeah, suggestions are welcome. If y'all want to just go and type this in that chat right now, that'd be good. Um, anyway, so I just keep it fun. And um yeah, I just talk to my team about things that aren't necessarily related to it work so that we get to know each other on a more personal level. Yes. You know, like I'll say, like I'll send pictures of people at the gym <laughs> doing stupid stuff. I'm like, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> and then they like all start talking about that. And like, we're like best friends, like literally people who are not even on the same team. They're on my downline, but they're not even on the same team. They're like, you know, this girl, Christina, she's like, yeah, I just called the phone with Courtney. And like, Christina's a ruby under Macy, but Courtney's another one of my diamonds. And, like, they just got the phone with each other. You know, one lives in Alabama, one lives in Colorado. And they're, like, best friends now because we just have that team chat. Like, the it's just on Facebook. And we just talk on there a lot. And we send memes to each other. And we just keep it fun. And then we ask questions. And we get encouragement. And I shout people out for, you know, maybe they're not, you know, promoting. Maybe they're not signing up crazy amounts of distributors or customers. But they're planting so many seeds. And they're consistent and working. And I'm going to shout them out. I'm going to be like, guys, like, everybody talk to this girl. Like, she is so awesome. And then, um, yeah, I don't know. I just talk to my team. And, and any time that I see someone, like, whoa, like, like there's a girl who is so good at signing up distributors that I like, I'm like, how are you signing up so many distributors? And there's a cut, a girl who signed up so many customers. She got on a zoom with Pam Souter today. And I was like, girl, okay, you two are getting together and you're going to do a zoom for our team. And so, and they're like, Oh my gosh. Like, and one of them's an executive and one of them hasn't even promoted yet. And I'm like, no, like y'all are leaders and you are going to do a zoom for our team if that's okay. And like, so then they're excited now, you know, and like they're going to hear from their peers and they're like, well, I'm going to do a zoom. And so we just, I don't know, like you just try to keep that excitement up. And clearly I don't have that big of a problem with being excited and all over the place. So it kind of comes naturally, but <laughs> it just you try to get your team to do that too. And you're like, I don't know, you're just talking to, them about everything every day about it works not it works like I don't know you just open up that line of communication and sometimes whenever my customer or my distributors have a question like late at night I'll just FaceTime them and you know last night my distributor was asking a question about signing up her boyfriend and I was like here I'm just gonna FaceTime you so we ended up FaceTiming for like two hours last night talking about everything and so now like she's one of those people like she's never going to leave this business. You know, even if it's just for the friendship, she's not going to leave. Yeah. And you know, she's one of the rubies on my team, she's going diamond. We talked about that. Like she knows what she's going to do to get there. And so it's just really cool. Like to, to have those friends. Cause that's one of the biggest blessings in my life. And, and I don't have another job. So these are my coworkers. Like they're like my friends. That's who I, you know, see and talk to every single day are these people. So, um, you know, even if you're just a, like, if you're like a Ruby and I don't say just a Ruby, like just a Ruby rank, but, like you don't have that many people on your team. Like you maybe only have, you know, five people or a couple of people on your team. Um, you can still do like a little team chat or do like a, you know, and in little incentive for your team. Like, okay, who's going to win a free product this month for signing up the most customers. There are things that you can do with a small team to get them super excited. And honestly, with a big team, I break it into smaller teams. Like, mm -hmm. Hey, you are going Ruby this month. Hey, you are my diamonds, you know? So it's almost better with a, a smaller team. So just don't ever look at it and be like, Oh, well, I have to wait until this point to be a leader because you're not, you want to grow as a leader before you are like a diamond because I didn't. And when I became a diamond, I was a really crappy leader to be completely honest with you. And I'm not saying that I'm really great now, but I've learned a lot since then. And I was a super selfish leader. So learn now how to, to lead by example. Like that's another thing too, is like they, 
they watch me and they're like, Oh, well, this is what she's doing. Like she's signing up customers and distributors. She's not just telling us to do it. She's showing us that she is and telling us what she's doing to get there. So I think that that's super important. And you can do that at any rank, even a distributor with a couple of people on your team. Like it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you've been in for a week or a month. If you know anything, tell your team about it. And you should be learning things every day with personal development. Amen, sister. Gosh, this business is a relationship business, first and foremost. And I truly have come to realize that the more friends that you make, whether they're your distributors and your teammates or your customers or your potentials, like the more friends you make, the more successful you'll be in this business. And the other thing that I've learned is you right now by showing the importance of personal development, like I truly believe like we are a part of the most amazing business, um, the most amazing personal development backed by an awesome compensation plan. And it's so true. Like the more you're going to grow, the bigger your checks will grow, the bigger your teams are going to grow. Okay. So we're going to end it with one. If you got one, if you got two, if you got three, whatever you got for us, but what is like the most like valuable tip that you could offer? Um, so two things just popped into my head. The first one, I already forgot. <laughs> I, I was like, I'm going to say this one first so I don't forget it. But while I thought that, I forgot the other thought. Um, oh, don't stop dreaming. That was, that was what I was going to say. Because, you know, like, it could be really easy for me now to just sit back and be like, oh, okay, like, my goal is to go triple by the end of this year. And so now I've already done it. So I'm just good for the rest of the year. But, like, mm -hmm. seriously, like I told you, like, if I do that again, like, it's probably going to take me seven years to promote to presidential. You know, you never know, like – like what that's going to do to, I don't know, like hinder your business from continuing to grow. Like, especially if you're like in a momentum season, don't be like, okay, well, I'm so sick of like doing promotion months. Like they're rough sometimes, you know, like last month, my boyfriend wanted to kill me. So he was like, he was like, we're not doing another promotion month this month. And I was like, okay, but the next month. <laughs> <laughs> and so anyways, like just continue to, to dream and continue to push and, um, you know, do the things now that you weren't willing to do last month. Like, find out what those things are. Maybe it was like having a wrap party. You weren't willing to do it, but do it now. Maybe you weren't willing to talk to the person at the gas station. You were just going to, you know, pay at the pump. Well, why don't you go inside and pay and go talk to them and tell them about this business? Because you have to realize that this business isn't about you. It's about them. And, you know, you're trying to find people to help. And so when you think about it that way, it's like selfish of you not to share this business instead of you being like, Oh, well, I'm probably going to get on their nerves. Well, that's like you focus. So when you start, stop focusing on you and start focusing on them, you're going to realize that they do need this business and that they, you know, I don't know, but they like don't love what they do. Maybe they want this opportunity. So do things that you're not willing to do, continue to dream and like think bigger, like whatever your goals are, take it up a notch. And like, that's what I've, this is like super like all over the place right now. I'm so sorry. But that's like what I've been teaching my potential distributors to do, which is a, another tip that I have for y'all real fast. I started this last night and I've signed up three distributors today, all three of which I talked to starting last night. <laughs> so hmm. here's the tip. we this need tip. to hear this one. <laughs> yeah. So here's the tip. Whenever people, I don't know how you're like your potential you know, distributor conversations go, but all of mine go the exact same except for a different person. And I, I talk to them differently because they're a different person, but the structure is the exact same. So they start talking to me about the business. Normally they come to me first. I don't really talk to people about the business unless I actually think they'd be really good at this business. Cause I'm actually really picky about who I have on my team. And I just say that like, if somebody was like, Hey, I want to join your team. And I'm like, eh, they're going to still join my team. Like, I'm not going to say no to anybody, but I'm not going to reach out to people if I don't actually think they're going to like, if they're going to be willing to do this business and put the work into it. So anyways, they come to me and they're like, you know, what do you do? So I'm like, well, have you ever heard of it or global before? And they're like, no, I've never heard of that, which is usually the response. And then I'm like, okay, well, here's what we do. So I told them like, you know, we're helping wellness companies, home a couple of the products. And I say, what, what amount of income will help you breathe? And the answer to that is 99.9% .9 of the time, whatever amount of money that they need to make ends meet. For me, it was a hundred dollars a month. What did you join for? $500 a month? Okay, well, why? Oh, because you need a $500 extra a month to pay your bills? Well, I tell them, I'm like, okay, 
So why do you need that amount of money? And I send them an income chart and I'm like, pick your rank, pick, pick the one that's going to help you. And a lot of the times they will say executive or Ruby. They don't really say anything higher than that. And if you start sending them the income chart, you're going to see what I'm saying. And I'm like, okay, well, why? What will $500 a month do for you? And they're like, oh, well, it'll do this. Like, okay, a girl who signed up today, or actually she signed up on Wednesday because she has to wait till she gets paid, but she for sure is going to sign up. Like I can tell. She was like, well, it'll pay for my room and board. Like I'm starting school. So it's going to pay for my books. Like she was just telling me all the things I was going to do. So I was like, okay, what, like, are you just saying that because $500 a month would get you by or because that's like what you could dream that could happen, you know, and like just try to show them the difference. And she's like, oh, well, really, I would like to be a diamond. I'm like, well, why didn't you say that? She was like, because I really only need to be a ruby. I was like, but you want to be a diamond. And you can have anything that you want if you're willing to work for it. So I was like, okay, we're going to make your first goal ruby. And then your next goal is going to be diamond. We're going to actually work for that. And so then I was like, can you imagine? I try to get them to like picture this. I'm like, can you imagine? You said, you said ruby, right? So can you imagine $500 deposited into your bank account right now? Go look at your bank account. Whatever that amount is, add $500 to it. Now, how do you feel? Do you feel a weight lifted off of your shoulders? Do you feel excited? What are you going to pay first with that money? Are you going to pay your rent first? Because the one girl was like, oh, help me with my rent. I was like, would you go pay your rent with that? How much money would you have left over after you pay for your rent? Then what would you go do with that? She was like, I'd buy a tub of ice cream. I was like, my girl. That's literally my response. I was like, my girl. Um, and, you know, so she was like, we were like super like having a moment. I was like, what are you going to do? Like, how do you feel? with that extra money in your bank account. And she was like, Oh, I need this. All three of them said, Oh, I need this. And I was like, yes, you do. I was like, Hey, so I'm going to tell you a little bit about my story and how I got started with this business. And so I sent him a voice message and I told him about my story, told him, you know, this is what this company's done for me. And I told him, you know, I was not anybody special. I joined it for a hundred dollars a month because that's what I needed to get by. But what I've learned since then is how to dream bigger, you know, like, I don't have to just, I don't, my goal anymore, like my goal is not to just get by anymore. It's to get by and then some, you know? So I just talked to them about that and then they're like, okay, well, what do I do? And so I'm like, okay, here's how you get started. And so then I send them that and they're like, okay, let's do this. So it's been such a quicker process because they're literally seeing that money in their account. They're visualizing it and they're like, oh, Wow. I need that $500 because I need that feeling to actually happen. You know, like I need to feel like that. So that's something I've been doing. And like, I don't really know where that came from. I just like randomly thought of it last night, actually, because I started sending them the income chart and I started to think about it. And I was like, I didn't even want any of the, the numbers on here. It was a hundred dollars. That was it. If you would ask me, I'd been like me a distributor, yeah. <laughs> but you know, I'm, and I'm like, why though? Like, why can you not, why not you? Why can't you be a double diamond? Why can't you be a triple diamond? Why, why are you looking at your situation? Like, Oh, well, I'm broke now. So I'll be broke forever. Mm -hmm. Why not you? And so I'm trying to teach them right now to dream bigger because when they start, they're going to be like on fire. You know, they're gonna be like, Oh, I'm going to do this. You know, like I want that $500. So anyways, I, that forgot is gold. Was, but there you go. I freaking love that. It's so gold. I'm so glad that you shared that and it makes so much sense. I love it. Yeah. All right, Miss Morgan, I appreciate you so much. You are freaking adorable and I loved all of it. I'm sorry. I'm very all over the place. I'm so ADD. I hope that all of that made sense. It did. We loved it. Seriously. Um, I cannot thank you enough for hopping on. So, um, but like I said, we're not going to take up too much more of your time. Um, if anybody, I don't think if you guys had any questions, seriously, love everything about you. You do, you have got a personality, <laughs> you're spitfire. I love it. So we'll go ahead and end the zoom and, uh, Morgan, I hope you have a great rest of your night and I can't wait to celebrate presidential and see you in conference as an ambassador. You threw it out there. I'm holding you to it. So um, rock it out, Thanks girlfriend. Thanks for having me on here. You're welcome. Um, yeah. So let me stop the recording. <laughs>